Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Speaking of new, I wanted to show these Ikea chairs that my husband put together. We have a similar one in my daughter's room at her desk, and they just are working well for this space. And this is going to be our homeschool space. I've been calling it our study, but I'm going to start getting this bookshelf together. If you missed my vlog, then welcome to our new space. We have had these books for about six years now. My husband saw them at Barnes & Noble. Alani was still an infant at that time, and he thought they were just really pretty, really well-made, so we decided to grab them. Out of all of them, the ones that we read the most are the Curious George and Madeline stories, but we've definitely peeked into the other ones. Winnie the Pooh, I would say, is one that we read. And we didn't read Wizard of Oz, but my girls are familiar with like a shorter version. So there's a lot of good books within this and I look forward to reading them with my girls over time. You will see me adjusting things as we go. I don't have anything planned out. I'm literally taking these books right out of the boxes since we just moved and just figuring out the best fit from there. I love listening to something while I'm doing this type of stuff. If you like listening to things, I'd love to know, is it music? Is it a podcast? Is it a book? For me, it's normally a podcast. I love listening to podcasts and I really haven't explored listening to too many books, but I think I'd like to start doing that as well. And these books, I absolutely love. I have a dedicated video about these books, which I will make sure to link but these DK books are beautiful and they just have so much great information. This bottom shelf is where I am putting all of the reference books, all of the things I want my girls to really be able to grab easily that I think that they can navigate and I kind of did split them up so that like animals was on one side and then kind of everything else was on the other side. But without any sort of dividers and labels, I know that this will end up being a mess. But for now, I just figured I would split it all up. And I'm going through more boxes of books, trying to just separate everything. There are some things that will go in Emmy's room, some things that will go in Alani's room, and then some things that will stay down here. So I'm just going through these and getting that sorted. And if any of my girls wanted any of the other books in their room, that would be fine with me. I just thought it would be good to kind of have a space where certain things live and they just have a specific home. But if they have like an interest and wanna grab a book and have it up in their room, that's fine as well. Some of the books are specific to the curriculum that we are using, so I did want to make sure I put those aside in a separate area, and since I was already doing that, I figured I would move all of our binders over. So this is kind of going to be my cabinet. So a lot of the things that I need to reach for, I'm going to be putting in this cabinet, just basically in the upper areas. And then I think the lower area will be for the girls, but I set this up very similar to what I had when this space was in my room at our old house, because that is what is familiar as things 
progress and we see how things work, I'll change it. But for now, I've got a lot of space to work with. These are the picture books as well as some oversized books that I want within the girl's reach and I'm gonna set this whole thing up and then you'll see at the end I don't even actually end up keeping it on this shelf because I do want them to be able to reach it even easier but I had separated this into like more of the educational books and more of the like just fun picture books but again I end up just completely redoing this later. I moved it to the bottom so that all of these books are really easy for the girls to just grab. But here is a closer look of what we are working with. And after this, I will start to organize our chapter books. If you are new to my channel, I previously taught elementary school, so I've taught fifth grade and I have taught second grade. So I do have a good bit of chapter books still. I actually gave away a lot of things and that was before I even knew that I would be homeschooling. So there's a lot that I used to have that I don't have anymore, but I have also gotten even more thanks to family members who have also homeschooled and no longer need certain things. So I actually have a box of books at my grandmother's house that I still have to bring over. Where I'm going to fit those? Probably not on the shelf, but I'm excited to grab those as well and start getting things ready. But this is what I have here. And this is not all of our books. I still have to show you our seasonal ones as well as ones that just aren't ready to be out yet. Up here is empty boxes as well as a sensory bin. And then these are some of the books that just aren't ready to be out on our shelves yet. And this actually is a book that I wanna give to a friend when they have a little one that is getting ready to be a big brother or sister. But these are the seasonal books. As you can see, I've got Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Easter, all of that as like smaller sections. And then my Christmas section is definitely the biggest section here. I have gotten some new winter and Christmas books since last year, so I look forward to showing that. But I still have these spaces open for new books, and so that is where I'll probably put some more. And then I have this section out here for the girls. I like how the library puts out different books for different seasons and topics. So I wanted to do something similar right now. We just have fall and Halloween, but I figure I can change this with different seasons and holidays or depending on what we are learning about. So I just want this to be an area where they feel like they can easily grab a book and take it off to another room if they want to or sit at the table and look through it. That's gonna be it for this video though. I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if so, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.